I'm here today to clear my name because I never cheat on Walter. The whole 11 month and a half that we knowing each other, his daughter is the one with this rumor and he's believing everything that she say. We met on Thanksgiving day of last year. I ended up doing the little app on Facebook, the little Facebook dating, and he was the first person that taught me a comment. And we talked and he was like, well, can I come get you? Come to find out, he was just right around the corner from me. It's like the first day I met him, like, he was the one, you know. Me and Walter was happy until his daughter started drama in our relationship. She started saying that she see me cheating. Now she got to the point where she don't even want him to see me at all. His daughter do not like me. I don't know why. She didn't know me, never knew me before, but I have talked to a family member, and the family member said it's because of money. I never stole his money a day in my life. Never. I told him I didn't cheat, which I never cheated, never talked to no one. I said, the way it seemed like to me, your daughter wants you for herself, and that's exactly what I told him. She won't bother no one else relationship in her family, but she's always bothering her daddy relationship. I think she's very jealous of me and her daddy relationship. And I think she's jealous because the grandkids love me to death. Walter left me about three weeks ago, and it's all about his daughter and her friends in his ear with the lies. I'm angry because I'm tired of being accused of cheating, and I never cheated on Walter. I just want her to know to stay out of our relationship. He is grown and get your own man. Um. All of it, all of it is nothing but bull. I swear to God. I do not have a problem with her being in my daddy's life. She's trying to make it seem like that I'm just trying to just ruin them. It's not you. I'm, I have a good, a good relationship with every woman that my dad ever been with. I'm a hairstylist. I do all their hair. It's not that, it's you. You don't have, we don't want nothing out of life. You don't have anything. You're not bringing nothing to the table. All I see is my dad taking care of you. He work, he got a car, he got a house. This woman, and she say he was around the corner. She lived five hours away from where we live. He met her on the internet. Soon as he got with her, the police started getting called. Steve. She's my, calling the police? Yeah, her, calling the police, Same making what? accusations. Just lying, telling lies and stuff like that. My dad, let me tell you something, Steve. My dad went to prison when I was one year old. My daddy got out of prison when I was 28, about to be 29. You see what I'm saying? So I, you didn't see him for 27 not, years? Not didn't see him. I, I saw my dad for t over 25 years through a glass window. Right, I'm so saying. So now that he's out, he's not going back for somebody that's not worth anything. Oh, so he's only been out for a few years, though. Like five or six years. Yeah. So you're worried that she might jeopardize his freedom. It, that's what I'm saying. The lies that she has told can possibly get my daddy put back in prison. But what is she telling the police? Uh, that, that he's abusing her, he's jumping okay, on her, beating her? That he's assaulting her? Yeah. Okay. Do you believe that uh, she's cheating on him? That I don't know. That's my least concern, Steve. Yeah. That's what she wants to prove, right. that she ain't cheating, but, you know. You know what, what, what is your biggest concern, the accusations? The accusations of her of saying that he's abusing her and that he's beating on her. That's her exact words, that my dad beats her, blacks her eye. Like I said, my dad did over 25 years in prison. That is very, you know, frowned upon in prison, a woman beater or a child molester. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's just my dad. That's just a code that he lives by. My dad don't, don't, don't beat women. No. How about these accusations that uh, she might have stolen from your father? Um, Doesn't I, seem like she needs to steal if he's just giving her everything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know if she actually stole money from him. Yeah. But um, she, the reason why she's saying that it's a money situation because when my dad first, when my dad got out of prison, he told me he felt like that he um, was obligated to try to make amends <laughs> with me. But I feel like me being 34, no, you just. Try to have a relationship with my kids. Right. It's, I, it's, it's done. It's over All you for care me is and him. You're making, you, yeah. you, you want to have a relationship. But right, but it, I didn't care about it. Yeah, I'm grown yeah, now. You made your own way. Yeah, so yeah. my dad, in his head, my dad felt like, okay, I wasn't there for you. I'm going to be there for you. So every other week, my dad get paid, he give me his whole check. I can't make him not do that. And on top of that, that's my dad. No. She's the one that got a problem with the money because she wants oh, it. Oh, she, you she's, she doesn't saying? like that he's giving your check to you. That he's giving me his, his whole check. Yeah. What happened to your dad back in August? 
But my dad stopped talking to me. Like I said, that's why I'm not I'm not trying to t tear them up. In February, I told my dad, if you if you want to be where I'm done. My dad stopped talking to me for over four months. Right. Did not call me, didn't call my kids, didn't come around me, nothing. But her family, she told a lie on my dad and stated that my dad beat her and her whole family like jumped on my dad, almost killed him. And so when that happened, I asked him, now are you done? They, they jumped him, what they did? Almost killed my dad. Oh. She made an accusation, like I said, stating that my dad was beating her, and they beat my daddy with metal bats and everything. Baseball bats. All type of stuff. So when I call her and I ask her about it, I'm like, what? why your family do that to my dad? Your daddy been beating on me. I'm just tired. This is lying. Your daddy beating on me. I'm just tired. I'm done with him. So now you want to call Steve and get back with him. What you calling Steve for? <laughs> what did you even call a Steve for? For somebody that beat you, jump on you? What you want him back for? They're kind of separated, right? Yes. But she wants to prove that she's not cheating or stealing so that your dad and her can get back together. That's not gonna happen, but yeah. You don't want to see that happen. Yeah. yeah. Hello, audience. <laughs> Steve, her daddy gonna be with me when we leave here. I talk, just talked to her daddy Tuesday, okay? She don't know it. When long as her daddy been in her house, the three days he didn't stay in her house, he was with me. He told her he slept in the car. Um. He just blinds back. When a, we get these a, a results, lot I bet you he A knows. lot to unravel here, right? Uh-huh. Um, how, how did you meet Walter? On Facebook. I was already indicated when I met Walter. You were indicated. Uh-huh. And he, he contacted me first on Facebook dating. Yeah. Oh, you were on Facebook dating? Yes. He yeah. sent me a message on Facebook dating. And so dating. where was the first and place? And he said he was, go he was right around the corner. Yeah. And he come right. He asked me that I want to hang out with him that day. He come and got me from around the corner. Where did he take you? We went to his cousin's house. Then me and him and his mama went to Golden Boy, I mean, Golden Corral to eat for oh, lunch. Oh, I love Golden Corral. Mm -hmm. um, That's pretty good. That's a pretty good first date, I got to say. And like I said. What'd you have? The whole buffet. You the whole thing. You the whole thing. The whole thing. I Steve. love this character. The whole thing. I love her. I love this character. She had whatever she wanted. You right. And your daddy gave me whatever, whatever she I wanted. wanted. And why she said He gave about, me whatever I, I wanted. That police, I fake. I, I this fake. ain't fake. And she wants to I got this say, from Mother's Day. And he bought this out the pot in his heart. I don't and the earrings come from Valentine's You Day. have to come on with it. What do you want to say to her? Huh? I want her in my life. I want her out of me and my daddy's life. I never like been in your said, life. You didn't like me since day one. We can be You didn't like me. Why? Because a family member said all you want is your dad's money. That's why you don't like no daddy with nothing. I don't know. I'm telling you what a family member told me. How are you going to be with Walter when your family member, who you will see quite a bit? Right now, we don't care about family members. We're going to do our own life. Okay. All right, well, Walter made a tape. Let's watch that now. Me and Samika. We met last November, and uh, red flags was just popping up. Right when we met, she was cleaning out my car, so uh, I still had some condoms. So about a month later, you know what I'm saying, my condoms gone. I think that she used them so she could cheat. Sometimes I have money just come up missing. It's the money I give her, you know, she don't know where is it at. So my daughter told me, Dad, you know what I'm saying? When you was at work, you know what I'm saying? Samika was riding around in your car. She was not at work. So I asked Samika about it. Samika said, oh, she up there lying. You know, so I'm like, why would my daughter lie to me? She's a cheater. She's a, a thief. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she's a liar. I went to prison. You know, uh, I got out. You know what I'm saying? I'm on parole, you know, and she constantly threatening, I'm gonna call the police on you. Uh, uh, you know, for nothing. If she failed her test, it's most definitely over with because I don't want no cheater. I really don't want no liar. I don't want to have nothing to do with her. Even if she passes, you know, it, it's still gonna be in my mind 
with a family member that jumped on me and stuff. Why would you tell them a lie for them to jump on me and they hit me with bats and stuff? You know, uh, why would I want to be with you? I'm going to say on, on, on a lie and your family members could have had killed me. Uh, please. So, you know, I, I really, when, I'm confused about this whole story, okay? Um, you know, you, you, you have a daughter that, you know, she tells a story of, uh, you were in prison for almost her whole adult, you know, childhood, adult life. Uh, you come out, uh, you're, you start building your life, and she feels you get with the wrong woman in Shamika. That Shamika cheats on you, uh, steals money from you, uh, basically causes uh, almost a separation between you and your daughter. And then you yourself, you know, you could see that you have a black eye. Her family comes and attacks mm -hmm. you with a baseball bat, could have killed you. Are you mm -hmm. really considered going back with Shamika? Steve, what woman would he tell, tell me a man, one thing, tell your daughter tell a man, tell a man okay. to choose so over her? Or your daughter. And you when I told you, you that, what what you when mean? I told you that, why you lie to your daughter? Why you lie to your daughter? Did you, 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 did you do that? that? No. Did, you did do that. Why you lie to your daughter? Tell her you. Why you lie to your daughter and tell her you slept in the car and you know you slept with me? She came here to prove that she's not stealing, that she's not cheating. If she were to pass this lie detector test, would you move forward with your relationship with Shamika? Number one, she is not going to pass this lie detector. Okay. Uh, okay. She's not going to do that. Okay. Yes you know or no? Don't be like these people Steve. that appear in front of Congress. Yes or no? If she were to pass, would you move forward with your relationship with Shamika? Yes or no? No. No. Steve, why would you? Daddy, just answer. Yes, yes or no? No. no. Okay. Why would I? Yeah, why would I? Would I? No, I won't. Shemeika came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked her, while in a relationship with Walter, have you had sexual intercourse with any other men besides him? She answered no. While in a relationship with Walter, have you had sexual contact with anyone besides him? She answered no. Did you take any money from Walter without his knowledge? She answered no. Have you ever taken anything of value from Walter without his knowledge? She answered, no. Have you ever fabricated a story to anyone that Walter has assaulted you? She answered, no. Is it true that, yes, Wal yeah. Is it true that Walter has assaulted you on more than one occasion? She answered, yes. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Shamika told the truth. Thank you. In two Wait, weeks, I want you to call me, because but guess what? I think they're going to be hooking up again. I know for a fact they need no, uh, Thanks for coming out. Thank you, Steve. It's nice to meet you, Shemika. Good luck, dear. Daddy. Yes. I'm telling you the truth, I told you the truth. She passed the, she passed the test yeah, stating no, that you I, assaulted her more than once. I assaulted her more than once, baby. No. I have. And you told me. Was the only time you told me, oh my granddaddy, you ain't never assaulted this woman. I have. You I'm say you ain't never put your hands on her, daddy. The thing about it now, I just feel like you should have came and took your own test. That's what I feel because now from this point on, I believe you jumped on her. And that's just the end of it. Until you come up here and take a test, I believe you that you that you jumped on her. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilcos.com to get my help.